This tutorial is going to show you how to insert Excel tables or charts, anything from Excel, into your PowerPoint and have it linked to your data so that if you update your data in your Excel chart, it will automatically update the information in PowerPoint. So um, the first thing that you have to do is make sure that your Excel chart and your PowerPoint are in the same folder um, wherever you're saving in your documents or um, your desktop, wherever you save your um, external drive so that the um, path won't be broken. So I have my PowerPoint slide open where I want my charter table or information from Excel. It could just be cells as well. And I also have open my Excel chart. So what I'm going to do is just copy this so I can do a control C. I can right click and copy or um, I can also copy up here uh, on my home tab. So when I'm done copying here, I'm going to go to my PowerPoint now and go ahead and paste it in. And there are several different ways that I can paste. I can file, and I'm sorry, underneath the home button. If I paste this way, I want to go to paste special um, or make sure that I choose one of these it has the little link icon because it says it will link the data and that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to just embed the chart, I want to link the data. So um, I can either use the destination theme, which is my PowerPoint theme, which I probably would want to do, or I can keep the source formatting if I prefer it to look exactly like the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, in this case I want to make sure that it looks pretty in my presentation. So I'm going to choose this one. And now it's pasted in here and if I update my chart, um, you're going to notice that it'll change here. I'm going to change this one, the housing one, in my Excel. So I'm going to pop out here to my Excel in my data and in the housing I'm going to change this to 2000 from 500 and hit the enter key. Now it's updated here. I need to save it in my Excel. Come back to my PowerPoint and look, it has changed to 2000. So it did automatically update my chart because the two are linked. But I can't move them from their original locations or I'll break that link and I'd have to reinsert the chart. Now some of you um, do right-clicking for pasting or control V for pasting. So you can do that as well instead of going up to the paste special options. And when I right-click you'll see that I have these linking options right here. I can also do a control V. It's going to paste it in and then I have to come down here to this little guy and make sure that I choose one of the, the linked items. And now your items will be linked. I want to show you one other thing. I'm going to come over here, control M, make a new slide, because you might want to, instead of have the data here, just have, say, a link to your data. So I'm going to go to insert, and I'm going to insert a shape. Just draw this. I'm going to right click on here, go to edit text, and put Excel data. So um, when I create a shape, I can do a control K or up here under insert, insert a link. And I'm going to insert a link to a file. So I need to browse to that file and find where it is. And now when I'm in show mode, I can click on this and I do have to agree to it. And my whole Excel spreadsheet will pop up now. So that's another way to handle and making sure that your data in your Excel sheet will represent the current information. I hope that helped you work with Excel and PowerPoint.